How hard could it be? How hard could it be? How hard could it be? What are we doing? Sorry. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Tyler. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, what's up today? I'm here for work. You're here for work? Yeah. Oh, you're looking good, but uh, a little too fancy for work. Too fancy? I think you should be wearing uh, proper clothing for work, and okay. uh, we'll let's get going. Yeah, let's do it. Hi, my name is Tyler Hildebrand for How Hard Can It Be? Today we're at Burdick Windows with Glenn Wheeler. Glenn, what is Burdick Windows? Burdick Windows, we manufacture high quality PVC windows, fiberglass windows, and steel entrance doors. And Glenn, what are we gonna do today? We are going to work on the window line, taking you through the process from start to finish on how to build a PVC window. Let's get it started. All right, Glenn, what's the first step in the window making process? As you can see, we start cutting the PVC. The saw is automated, all the information comes out of the office, cuts the parts, we put it into the bins. From there we take it, we machine the parts for the locks, the operators, drain holes, things like that for performance of the window. So you think I can do that? Absolutely. Put your glasses on. We don't need this anymore, do we, Glenn? We've just started it on screwing up. The next step is welding the windows together. Basically, we're melting the PVC corners. So you think that uh, I could give that a shot? Yeah, yeah. How hard can it be? Like that. As you can see, there's always a little bit of excess PVC, and that's what our next machine cleans off. It's called a corner cleaner, and it's cleaning the corners of the windows for performance as well as cosmetics. This is what it looks like once it's cleaned up. No edges. I did this myself. The next step is installing all the hardware, locks, hinges, things like that. What are we doing? Sorry? We're good? Yeah. Yeah, Why is it Do you have it in reverse? Yeah, I wouldn't roll. I had it in reverse. Crystal, what? Thank you for being so patient. I apologize. You're welcome. As you can see, we make all of our own glass here. What are you doing? And the glass process, it's an automatic glass cutting table as well. The glass gets cut, put into the bins. <laughs> the machinery automatically puts the spacer on. This one could actually be pretty hard. Oh, I'm so scared! Oh. <laughs> Most sealed units are triple pane. As you can see, this first machine is applying the spacer to the glass. Then we put the leaves together to make the dual or triple pane. And from there, the hot melt, which is the second seal that goes around the perimeter of the sealed unit, gets applied to this machine. Hold on, Ann. I need to put my gloves on first. This machine pushes the pieces of glass together so they're tightly sealed. And also the the hot melt was final is the final seal of the sealed unit. I'm just gonna step in and do this. Uh, you don't want to touch with your hand though. It's very hot. This is the final assembly of the window. So everything we've done up until this point finishes right here. Spacers? Yeah. Square off the glass into the frame. Right. Peel the tape. That's to keep the mosquitoes out. That's it, and you have a window. All right, Glenn, so we've seen windows and doors from start to finish. Now I gotta know, where do you buy these things? Locally, we have a dealer network. Uh, you can buy them at Canadian Lumber, Parkside Lumber, and Rona, all here in Winkler. 
uh, information will be thrown on our website at verdict.com. When did Verdict Windows get started? We started operations in 1970. 1970? And how long have you been at Verdict Windows? I've been at Verdict Windows since 1989, just over 25 years. Glenn knows everything there is to know, and now I feel like I know a little bit more about Verdict Windows. Thanks so much for having us, Glenn. Well, thanks for coming out. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Gotta say, how hard can it be? Not that hard. Not that hard.